Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music, and I'm happy to report that my new album, Terrain, is available now on Bandcamp, Implied Music. It'll be streaming on Spotify and all the services very soon. It takes a little while to get it distributed. But that's not what I want to talk about today. Every so often, I'll run across a, a sample library tool that fills a hole and, and uh, just gives me all kinds of inspiration. Well, what I want to talk about today is a hit swoosh riser drops ping library from uh, Sergei Zuberov. I hop, hope I'm not mangling your name, Sergei. Uh, that's very reasonably priced on an introductory price of like $28 right now. Um, I got super excited by it because it's so much better than Native Instruments Rise and Hit and wrote a little piece of music for ambient piano thinking what would these kinds of sounds do for my ambient composition and then I liked the piece of music so much I went and gave it to the orchestra well that's kind of three things one on top of the other but let's see if we can get through it <laughs> Here's uh, Sergei's uh, website, the last haven of, uh, dot ru, and you can see it's it's on sale, uh, super reasonably, yay! And um, there's a good walkthrough, no question about it. Visit it. This is what the uh, interface looks like, and right now I'm in the on the swoosh. Um, library. There are a bunch of individual libraries that you'll load separately into different tracks. The aim function allows you to set the number of beats from the onset of the note to the peak. And that's just like um, the native instruments rise and hit. But there are a couple of other really sort of terrific effects like not the least of which simple things like attack and release and um, the effects section, but maybe one of my favorite things, which is this little, this uh, high C key, maybe you can't see it, is an interrupt. Listen to this. That's terrific to be able to do that instead of having to chop or add an LFO. You can just play it on a beat. I enjoyed um, making this piece of music. It's a little piano chorale. Let's listen to the first phrase. It's uh, Native Instruments Piano Colors. With a pad um, that I made in Orbit. Maybe we'll talk about the harmony when we look at the orchestral version. Well, you know, just by that by itself, that's okay, but it feels a little static. It feels a little close and in your face and not terribly deep. What if, I thought to myself, what if I add what are essentially epic elements, trailer music hits, swooshes, risers, to a delicate ambient piano track? Well, it's a fascinating effect. The hits and swooshes create a kind of a, a backstory to this uh, delicate world. Well, let's just play the track and listen to what happens. These are basically plagal cadences, one, four, one with some diminished chords for good measure. Sus chord. I love this open space and the air that the hit gives. Ooh, minor four chord, little modal interchange. Diminished chord as a passing chord back to one. Drop, rise.
Well, that was super fun to listen to. Now, the harmonies in this chorale are functional, and I don't ordinarily work with functional harmony. Functional, that is to say, I'm using the chords from the D major scale in the way that Western classical composers of the 19th century um, did, kind of following a track that is essentially academic. But it does create, I think you'll agree, a strong sense of anticipation and fulfillment um, and also some moments of surprise. For instance, that sus chord, the way it lifts out of the space that we're in. Well, I like those chords and this chorale that I've written uh, so much that I thought to myself, what if I orchestrate it? Let's listen to that orchestration. Most of these instruments are from Spitfire's Albion Neo. That diminished chord as a passing chord back to one is a great sound. There's that minor four chord. beautiful, quiet ending. Years ago, when I was designing a, a theater piece, I ran across my favorite stage direction to a sound designer ever. An asteroid strikes the Earth and is somehow simulated. With some of these hits, you could pull it off if you have the best, the best subwoofer available. And by the way, I broke the subwoofer at the theater for that show. They had to buy a new one. Um, it's a terrific library. Sergei has done a great job with it, and for me, it's a no-brainer. Well, Terrain is out. Uh, buy it on Bandcamp. Soon you'll be able to stream it um, on Spotify and really all the platforms. I hope this has been useful. Comments are really great for the life of the channel and the video, so I want to hear what's up with you. Do you use these kinds of things? Have you ever used it in ambient music? I never have, but I think it really adds something great. I like noise sources and ambient music, but I don't think I've ever approached it in quite this way. Well, I'll see you next time.